Hello, it's Scott Manley here with part 9 of my tutorial series for Kerbal Space Program players. Now, I had left you with the task of landing on the moon, and I suspect this may have happened to some of you. Uh, some of you may have crashed outright and demolished your spacecraft, others may have crashed and disabled it in some way that has left the crew alive. And so while I wanted to do docking, I kind of realised that some of you might want a lesson in how to rescue some uh, crew from the surface of the moon. So what I'm going to do is take the rocket that I previously built. Uh, this is a slight variation on it, but the main thing I'm going to do here is get rid of the parachute and use a probe body instead. The probe will enable us to fly it without any crew. Since we've got rid of the parachute, I'm going to have to put a couple of these radial parachutes on the side, again using symmetry, which I haven't quite got right. There we go. We have a symmetrical rocket here, which I'll of course save. And now before we launch, we have to go to the crew tab and remove all occupants from the spacecraft before sending it off to rescue Jebediah. Now of course getting into orbit, uh, going to the moon and getting into orbit around that, they're all skills you should have already mastered. So let's skip forward to the hard part. Okay, so here is the situation. Jebediah Kerman has crashed on the surface of the moon and needs to be rescued. Actually, technically, you could probably fly this home. But as part of the simulation, we're going to rescue Jebediah. And to do that, we want to land a spacecraft very close to him. Now, take note that the capsule is sitting on the surface and the altitude is 3752 meters. This is actually going to be important in our calculations to land here. So we're going to switch to the map and go to the Mooner Rescue Ship. Now in a moment we will be seeing the spacecraft that has landed on the surface. And there we go there, see that? Now I'm going to target the one that's pink, it shows you 70 kilometers away. That is the one that actually has Jebediah in it. So we are in a an 11 kilometer orbit over the surface. Now I've, I've put it in this orbit very carefully. Uh, the altitude isn't that important, but you are going to have to use it to calculate the exact uh, landing altitude and everything. What to notice though is that the orbit passes a long way south of it. So what we need to do is make an inclination correction roughly 90 degrees away from where the moon, where our target is. So that would be about here. And the reason you make the correction 90 degrees away is because 90 degrees is the most efficient for making these kind of corrections in terms of latitude, right? If you do it elsewhere, then you have to actually expend more energy. So as I brought that up, you'll notice it raised my Apple app, so you have to kind of go the other way and reduce your Apple apps. You want to try to keep both sides at around 10 kilometers. That's pretty good. Okay, so that will be our burn. Okay, so to get ready for this maneuver, we turn the spacecraft and point at this. And because I have just reloaded this save, the uh, we don't have an estimated burn time. That's okay. I reckon it's going to be less than 20 seconds because it's only about 80 meters per second. So we just need to get within about... Oh, there, that's us too close. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter too much. As long as we make a relatively good correction here and keep the altitude more or less the same, we will be fine. And there, kill it. Okay, so that is our orbit. It is passing over the site. Now, the next thing we need to figure out is when we're going to decelerate so we actually land over the spacecraft. So what I'm going to do is create a maneuver node over it, right? And all we're going to do is drag this all the way until the thing goes crazy because it decides that we can't bang. You see that? What's happening is my vectors are switching back and forth. Now that is basically equivalent to stopping over the target. But that's not what we're going to do. We're only going to use this information to figure out how far away we should be. Now, Basically, it tells us here down that our estimated burn is going to be 1 minute and 11 seconds. That's 71 seconds. Now, during those 71 seconds, we are going to go from 547.4 meters per second down to, well, 0 meters per second. And that is kind of like a, a speed triangle, if you think about it. You start at 547.4. 
And then for the next 71 seconds, you're traveling. And because you start at a 547 and you end at zero, it's like a triangle, right? With the velocity as your height. So you divide this by two. That tells us it's going to take roughly 19.4 kilometers for us to stop. Now, the other thing is that we're roughly at 11 kilometers, right? So we're going to pass over the target. And since the target is at 3,750, that means we're about 7.25 kilometers over the target. So we're going to have to do a little bit of Pythagoras here. Uh, this is 19 kilometers across the surface, but in fact, we're going to have to do treat this as one side of a Pythagoras triangle. So square it, and then we're going to add um, 7250, because that's how much higher we are than the target, and we square that. And we get this number, take the square root, and it says 24, 20 kilometers, 20.7 kilometers. So let's say 21 kilometers. Just give us a little bit of wiggle room here to make sure we don't do it too late. There's going to take a little moment to throttle up the engines, uh, and we certainly don't want to um, overshoot. So basically what we're going to do is as we approach the target, when we reach 21 kilometers, that's when we're going to start firing or firing our engines to try and land over the target and we actually don't even need this maneuver node incidentally so i'm going to kill it kill the maneuver node and then start time accelerating so we're going to look for the space the object on the horizon and important thing to see here is this pink marker that is going to be where the target is and ideally when we're descending we want our retrograde marker to be over this so that we're coming down straight towards it. So here we go. When we get close enough, we're gonna uh, actually start decelerating and hopefully we'll end up pretty close to our target. Now you see we're actually coming slightly north off it, so we're gonna have to make some corrections to try and put our spacecraft more or less over it. And we'll do that by deflecting our, our orbit. You see, if I go slightly this way, slightly to the north, that will be good. So 21 kilometers. There we go. 100% thrust. And now we are on our approach. So uh, this is actually more or less horizontal here because I've lined it up. So I'm just going to hopefully push my approach vector onto this 270 degree marker. There we go. Let's do that. And I'm just holding this on the horizon because we know that that is where we're aiming. And look, are we going to slow down in time? Who knows? Well, what's going to happen is as we start to slow down, we're going to drop out of orbit and this uh, vector is going to move up. And when it gets to the top there, that's probably when we want to stop thrusting because that will be when we're starting to move towards our target. And we want to make sure we can slow down quickly enough. So when it reaches about, oh, I don't know. About, well, when it goes off the top is when I'm going to stop. There, let's do that and see where we are. Now, when you decelerate, that will uh, that will tend to push... When you thrust, that will push your retrograde vector away from where you are. So we want to kind of push it to exactly where this uh, purple thing is. You want to try and keep those coincident so that you're traveling towards the correct target. Now, in the midst of all this, make sure you lower your landing gear. And yeah, you see, just by, I'm, I'm essentially pushing this retrograde vector around. And this is an important trick that you'll learn during rendezvous. There we go. So that's us going to be coming pretty close to the target. And uh, now I'm seeing that we need to do this a little. Again, what we're doing is we're pushing this vector onto the target. And now I'm getting kind of close. I need to start watching my thrust here. Oh. 70 meters. Oh, 70 meters per second. 60 meters per second. Don't want to be going too fast. You want to be going at a controllable velocity. And so... Oh, yes. Again, just trying to push this in the direction that will keep it close to me. I'm not looking at this target on the moon. I'm looking at the nav ball the whole time. What I am looking at is the altitude because the 
we want to be able to slow down before we hit the ground and we want to be able to make sure we kill our vertical velocity in the right place so there we go 30 meters per second we're traversing sideways now and we're now our vertical speed has actually dropped too much we don't want to overdo things okay so now we're just in pure landing mode right we're gonna kill our velocity as quickly as possible and we want to touch down at a few meters per second again this is all using the nav ball right the nav ball is your friend in fact I may be a little close to this target you just want to make sure that you don't land so heavily that you uh, break your spacecraft so you're watching this nav ball the whole time in fact I'm I'm being absolutely terrible here because <laughs> I wasn't even looking at where I was going I uh, yeah that's a pretty close landing there <laughs> that is tunnel vision for you I, I honestly had not noticed I was quite so close okay and so Jebediah now is in a position that he can just more or less deploy his RCS pack, his EVA, and find his spot on the target. This may be a little harder than it was in Minmus if you're new to it, but just be careful. And you should be able to jump on there, get in bo on board, and now he's ready to go home. Uh, so I hope that was useful to you. I'm Scott Manley. Fly safe.